Welcome everybody to another exciting edition of Gutbuster Live TV. Tonight we're going to see defenses of the RCW Heavyweight title and the Commonwealth title. Are we ready for some great wrestling action tonight, folks? The following program contains scenes that are aggressive in nature and may not be suitable for all viewers. Remember kids, what you're about to see is performed by professionally trained athletes. Do not try this at home. Tonight, Springbrook, Alberta. This is what it's all about. The saint of striking, Christian Strife, goes one-on-one -on -one with you, Big Jess. And this won't be like last time. This won't be a tag match where you have heavy metal there to help you. You're locked in that cage, one-on-one -on -one with me. I will continue to make this the most dominant and prestigious title, not in Alberta, in all of Canada, in all of North America. I'll even take it across the world if I have to. Everyone will know who the Saint of Striking is after this. They will know the name of Christian Strife. Our first matchup, a great matchup, a young rookie, Cameron Stevens, trying to take on a wily veteran by the name of Zack, the Universe Mercury. We call him the Universe, well, sorry, the Universe. If you don't say it like that, he will get on your case. Many times I've had to interview him and he's done that. But here, let's get, let's get this action started. Notice definitely the height advantage going to Mercury, but I think, we got, I think Cam's got a bit more of a size on him and that might, be, might give him a little more power. Mercury pushes Stevens into the corner. Oh, it is not a clean break. He ruffles his hair and, and definitely is trying to get under the skin of this young rookie. Smart move by Mercury. Knowing that Cameron Stevens does not have the greatest amount of experience, he may not understand that Mercury is trying to get him off his game, trying to, to get whatever plans he had thrown out the window by getting him angry, making him go off his game. They're circling around again. I'm not sure who I'd give power advantage. I mean, Mercury is definitely taller, but... Uh, Stevens is definitely bulkier. They're going into the corner. Looks like Mercury has no. Maybe it's Stevens. No, it's Mercury. Wow, the back and forth with power advantage. Are we going to get a clean break here? I don't think it'll happen to me. No, of course not. Mercury throwing his left hand into the top turnbuckle. That does not feel good. And look at that. Cam Stevens, being the smart rookie, attacks the left arm. Going for arm ringers. Going for, for anything he can to try and take the strength out of, of Zach Mercury's arm. He's staying on it, and that's a smart move. He's going to have to watch out. Oh, he ducks the clothesline. Rings up his arm once again. Why is he doing this? Well, if he can keep... Oh, okay, wait a sec. There we go, ramming Mercury's hand in the top turnbuckle. If he can keep doing this, he may look for a chance to, to either use a submission, that'll cost that left arm, or even a pinning situation where Zach's going to find his left arm is too sore to be able to kick out. That's what Stevens wants. Oh, he's going for a backslide. This might be a little early, but it's the smart move. Oh, not enough, not quite yet. Mercury kicks out, comes out with a bit of a, a clothesline that clips Cam, and those incredibly long legs booting Cam. Now you know what, Mercury has, he has definitely the height advantage, and if you look at the guy, he's got incredibly long legs. He will use that advantage to kick you in the face, kick you in the head as you go by. It's continuous with this guy, so you've got to be very careful. One of the downsides though is i got to wonder how much brutality can he take to his knees, and, and if I was a young guy like Cam Stevens, look at this, oh, goes for the sunset flip, and no, too soon. If I was Cameron Stevens, I might want to think more of attacking the knees. I mean, Zach Mercury, taller guys may have knee problems. There's the exuberance. He goes running in there, and what does the wily veteran do? Sidesteps him and hucks him into the steel post. Cam has got to be in a world of pain right now. And let's watch what Mercury does. Look at this. He also targets the left arm. And now he's going after definitely a smart veteran move there. Cam is still shook out about going shoulder first into the steel post and now mercury kicking and, and attacking and doing everything he can to make that left arm as uncomfortable as it could possibly get he too will also be looking for maybe a submission or even a pin situation because of that left arm the more he wrenches on it the more he he pulls on it the more he he gives cameron a bit of pain 
And that pain will add up, folks. That pain will add up in the entire match. Any one of these guys will tell you, stepping in the ring, the first two minutes are exciting, full of adrenaline, but you get in there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you gas yourself out real quick because it's not used to the sort of pace of physicality. Cameron Stevens right now is looking a little leery. Zach Mercury at the ropes. Oh, and there are those long legs I talked about. Man, he made Cam kiss his boot hard. And, and Cam's laying there. I know he looks tired. Mercury going in. And, of course, the showboating. You can't forget that Zach Mercury's all about the showboating. You know, it might have been a little more effective had he come off and, and went straight for that leg drop. He might have had the advantage here. Well, he's going to have to bring this young man up and try and find another attack because I don't think Cam Stevens is... Well, you know what? This is, this is not smart. You, you don't want to take a young, explosively angry guy like Cameron Stevens and slap him in front of his hometown crown. I know he's got fans and family out there, and they're watching him get slapped in the face. I wonder how long he's going to take it. And there you go. He is not going to take it long. He is chopping Mercury. Mercury throwing the old veteran knee to the stomach. Throws him off the ropes. But a reversal by Cam Stevens. Cam goes running in. What is he going to do? Oh, this is a dangerous clothesline. Both men go f tumbling over the top rope. But Cameron Stevens lands on his feet. This would be a good time now for Cameron Stevens to get fired up and try and weaken Zach Mercury as much as he possibly can. He's getting the fans behind him. He's going in for some shots on Mercury. He... He's got to get him back in the ring. No one's going to win on the outside. And be careful. Zach is a sneaky guy. He is not going to take this for very long. He's got so many tricks up his sleeve that Cameron Stevens had better have both his eyes open extremely wide. Oh, there you go. A, la uh, a crushing right kick to the stomach. That right leg went into Cameron Stevens. And now the universe slowly going around the ring. I'm not sure why he didn't just roll in there and attack Stevens, but he's taking his time. This is the methodical pace that Zach Mercury likes to work. Comes down with a clubbing, crushing right hand to the back of Cam's head. Jawing with the fans. This is what you're going to see with a guy like Zach Mercury. He's going to slow it down. He's the veteran. He knows the holds a little bit more, a little more intimately. He's going to want to take Cam Stevens down a few notches in speed and rely mostly on his experience and conserving his strength. Well... Mercury's looking around. I'm wondering what kind of move he's going to try. Will he try some kind of arm move to try and take out Cameron Stevens? But, oh, no. Fans, if you ever wondered what that felt like to have your face dragged around the ropes, take a rope at home. Run your forehead across it, and you can tell me how much you think that feels good. Because it doesn't. But look at this. Mercury has him set up for one of his favorite moves, sort of a bronco neck move onto the thing. He's going to ride poor Cameron Stevens on the ropes, pushing his uh, his arms and his throat across that rope. And Cam had better get out of there. The third one of these can be devastating. Oh, he moved. Look at that. Mercury slides through. But because of his incredible length of his body, he managed to land straight on his feet and then punch Cameron in the face. Great, great veteran presence. Get on him. Don't let Cameron Stevens recover. He's going to the other side, and he's jawing with the fans, which is not a great idea, but I think he's going to try that move one more time. He's got Cameron in the same position. This could actually take Cameron out. Cameron saw it. Ducks, and look at that. Zach Mercury crotching himself. Got to wonder what's next here. Ah, uh, yeah, you know Cameron Stevens. He's got in his mind he's going to have to do something to take the energy and strength out of Zach Mercury. Smart move, yes. Play the ropes. Look at this. That cannot feel very good for, for Mercury. And he went flying off that middle rope from his crotch. So you got to know he's not feeling the best right now. Cam has got to get in there. But look, even under his pain, a drop toe hold definitely takes down Cam Stevens. And then he rolls Cam into getting his legs around Cam's neck and putting in a tremendous leg scissors. Look at the size of those legs on Zach Mercury. That's an effective move. Cam is close to those ropes. He's going to have to dig down deep inside and really push himself. There you go. And you know, you know Zach isn't going to let go here until he gets a f at least to the four count. He has a five count before he's disqualified. He doesn't want to lose this match that way, but he, he'll take advantage of that four count as long as he possibly can. Well, Zach Mercury smells the blood in the water. He's circling around Cam, and I think he's going to set him up for a very thunderous-looking suplex. This could be uh, the thing that takes Cam out. I mean, Cam has been taking a bit of a beating in there for a while. A lot of air knocked out of him. Mercury going for the pin. Oh, a two count. Mercury 
looks a little exasperated. I don't blame him. He's been throwing a lot at this young veteran. This veteran has been able to, to run pace with him. Throws the, throws the rookie into the ropes. He comes in and look at that. Sidewalk slam. Shades of Kevin Nash there. Shades of WWE Diesel. Um, but that is not enough. Zach Mercury's banging on the on the cur on the mat and, and in frustration. And and this is surprising that Zach Mercury would let himself get frustrated. But now, here's something you don't see a lot. Except for the clubbing moves off the top rope. What is Mercury gonna do here? Maybe a leg drop? Maybe some kind of elbow? He goes Oh my goodness, it looks like Mercury's knee gave out on him. He slipped off there and that looked bad, folks. I'm you know what do you do if you're Cameron Stevens? As, as cruel as it sounds, take the advantage, Cam. Here's your chance. Roll him into a figure four. Grab him into a, a Boston Crab, even a single leg crab. Go after that advantage. Mercury gets up in there fist fighting it out now. Mercury has got to be a little unsteady on that leg, but he does not want to go down easy. He is a big man, and I've seen him. Oh, reversal. Mercury throws him in, but look at that. Cam with a beautiful clothesline from the ropes. Press the advantage, go for that arm. Oh my goodness, is that a scoop slam? Yes it is, man. Stevens looks pumped now. But he's playing a little to the crowd and this may cost him. Go in there, Cam, get your moves, get him out. He pushes Zach back into the ropes. Zach is fighting him though. And that's, you know, Cam's only got himself to blame for, ooh, boot to the face. Looks like Cam's gonna go down again. Oh, Mercury sucked him in, made him think he was going to get another kick to his face, but instead sidesteps and takes a, takes a beautiful double shot into Cameron's throat. Cameron throws Zach off. Zach's knee, though, this is it. This is going to be the telling point of this match. Does Cam Stevens go after that knee, or does he go after another move? Going after another move may, may not be able to guarantee him a victory here. He has taken an awfully long time to get up those ropes. Oh, Mercury catches him, and, well, I think Cam's going to go flying here. He had better be careful. This looks like a bit of a, oh, kind of a neck corkscrew kind of thing. He just threw him off. And why is he grabbing the, of course, he's grabbing the ref to distract him, because here comes old enemy of, of Cameron Stevens, Dead Zone. Dead Zone gets in his cheap shot, and, uh, oh, Mercury with a stomach. Here we go. This looks like it's going to be a... Oh, sort of a, a corkscrew DDT. I think that'll be it for Cam Stevens. Once again, ah, uh, once again, Zach, the Universe Mercury. Being wily, being the veteran, but also getting an assist. You know, if this was a hockey game, we're going to have to give a point to Dead Zone. I wish the referee had seen that, but here's your winner. May have cheated his way to get there. But the Universe once more shows us why he can brag and have that kind of name. Tim, every time I come out here, I see all this amazing apparel. What, what's the what's the inspiration behind Spirit Circle? I've always wondered that. Yeah, well, Spirit Circle um, stems back way, way back when they used to fight um, in carnivals, circuses. Every used to uh, form a circle when people could fight. The crowd mm -hmm. it still happens today in high school, junior high. Uh, it's kind of as the barrier. Um, as the sport evolved, uh, they put ropes. As you see now as a barrier, so before um, the circle, now the square, and that squared circle. And every time you hear squared circle, you know, you hear it in uh, wrestling, you hear it in uh, fighting, you hear it in boxing, they always refer to a ring. Absolutely. And so, squared circle apparel, what exactly are we targeting here? The ring. Anything inside a ring. If it's in a ring, it's our thing. Excellent. Well, folks, come on down and check out Squared Circle Apparel, squaredcircleapparel.com for all your uh, shopping needs. Some great merchandise. Say hi to Tim, he may even give you a suplex. <laughs> hey, fans, don't forget to check out our website at gutbustertv.com. We're also available on Twitter, Instagram, and yes, Facebook. So take the time to send us a message, look things up, or just get a hold of us. We're lonely. This is Gutbuster TV. Come on, man. This is the original Aboriginal, Big Jesse Youngblood, here tonight 
in Springbrook, Alberta. Tonight, I am taking on Stripe, the British Commonwealth Champion. Last night, in Calgary, you and that punk Scott Justice thought you could get the better of me in heavy metal. Not tonight. You see, Strife, I know your weaknesses. I know how to beat you. Back up, cameraman. I'm trying to talk here. You see, tonight, I'm looking for gold. Tonight, I'm taking gold. Strife, tonight, your championship is mine. Because I am bigger than you. Ah! And now your main event of tonight. That's right, the contender tonight, Big Jess Youngblood, the champion. Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion, Strife. Tremendous matchup. Strife, the, the vertical kicking machine, MM style based wrestler, making a tremendous wave within RCW, capturing the Commonwealth Championship and putting it up against one heck of a big bruise. We're talking the 300 pound plus big Jess Youngblood. Jess, former RCW champion and one of the meanest guys you can ever find in RCW. Well, quick start off, and you know that. Uh, Jess does not want to stand toe-to-toe -to, -toe to try and exchange kicks with Strife. Strife is known for some pretty stiff kicking. One of the things you find with Jess is he's very psychological. He takes the time working the crowd, trying to distract Strife off his game. Strife is usually a very solid, very direct wrestler. Might be thrown off by some of these tactics of Jess's. They lock up. Definitely the advantage here for for, for Big Jess Youngblood. Look how he throws Strife down effortlessly. Uh, 100 and, 120 plus pound difference really showing here. Now this is a methodical start, but look at this. Strife trying to get into Big Jess's head. Strife going in, zoning himself up. Getting ready, just not looking as serious, but he definitely has the weight advantage here. Once again, throwing Strife down, but Strife jumping right back up, saying, hey, I'm the champ, I am not going to take this so easily. Right about now, Strife's probably contemplating another kind of attack. Maybe locking up and, and trying to overpower Jess is not the way to go here. There we go. Oh, Strife with a kick to the leg, and another kick. This is what Strife's game's all about. He's gonna try and take Jess out at the legs. Oh, and a beautiful tilt the world, Kirk Rana. Beautiful. I don't think Jess quite expected that. Or, look at Strife using Jess's weight against him in a beautiful arm drag. Now he's locking it in. Kind of wondering why Strife is uh, not going for the legs after you know a few kicks. I thought maybe he'd be priming up for more of a leg attack, but. Maybe this is uh, part of the way to throw Big Jess off his game. Jess getting up to his feet now. Trying to break the hold. Pushes Strife in the corner. Strife does have to let go. Jess, of course, not a clean break. Throws in a couple shoulder blocks just to say, hey, Strife, I'm still here. Strife has got to get out of this. Strife's game here against Jess has got to be take the attacks, go in, and, and try and buzz around like a bug, you know? Get in there, take your shots, get out. Get in, get out. You cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy who weighs 120 pounds more than you. Strife with a tremendous sh chop. Oh, panders to the crowd and pays for it. Jesse makes him eat a knee to the stomach and then scoops him up into a slam. 
Just off the ropes, coming up with an elbow. Oh! Hits Strife right on. Well, just arguing about that count, but let's face it, that was uh, that was a pretty pretty fair two count. Now Jess, as he's got Strife here, he's going to use his weight and his power advantage to try and wear out Strife. Strife, meanwhile, should be trying to stay away from Jess as much as he can, rely on strikes from the outside, use your kicking and punching, and then go in for some moves. But he's first going to have to break out of here. A couple elbow shots to Jess's stomach. Jess, whoa, throws him head first down back on the mat. That looked like it really took a, took a nasty toll on Strife. Strife is slowing down a little bit, and you can't blame him. The 300-pounder plus is just going to work on him. Weight on his shoulders, weight on his face. Oh, and look at this. Jess coming in for a tremendous. Oh, what a move. 300 pounds plus coming down on you. Strife is feeling this one right now. If you're Strife, you gotta get out of here. Roll out of the ring. Get your breath back. Jess is gonna keep this up and keep pounding him until he wears him down enough for a pin. Oh, Jess goes in for the pin, did not get it. Well, we're seeing a lot of domination by Big Jess Youngblood right now. Big Jess, former RCW heavyweight champion, turning his eyes right now to the Commonwealth champion. Maybe wanting to add this belt to his impressive credentials. Oh, Jesse's going to show Strife what it's like to get kicked. Gives him a very stiff kick to the back. Strife is sitting there absorbing it. I don't know, though, if maybe this was a good plan by Jess. He might be stirring up some kind of ego within Strife. Once again, leaning in with a rear chin lock, holding it in, trying to wear out Strife as much as he can. This has been a, for the last couple of minutes, it's been all Big Jess Young, but Strife has definitely got his fight his way back in here. The crowd is starting to rally behind him. Strife gets up an elbow, a second one, a third one, breaks the hold with Jess, runs into the ropes, comes off, into a, well, the way it's a sunset flip. My goodness. It seemed for a minute there the weight of Jess might have been too much for Strife. So oh, Strife eating a boot of Jess Youngblood who comes up with a beautiful kick to the face. Strife's got to be reassessing his game plan right now. Meanwhile, Jess spending a little too much time jabbering with the fans. Come on, Jess, you want to win that belt? You got to do the work. You got Strife down. Don't let him get up. Don't let him recover. And here's where Ego comes in. Face wash across the back of the head from Jess. Yelling, oh, strife with a stiff kick to the stomach. It might not be enough. Whoa, a second one. Oh, the third one is caught. Oh, and Jess pulls him off the rope, slams him slightly on his back, and comes off with a tremendous leg drop. This could be the end of our good friend Strife. Just, oh, no, Strife kicked out. My goodness, Jess Youngblood is getting frustrated. You can't blame Big Jess. He's been throwing everything at Strife, and Strife has been absorbing it. But I gotta ask, how much can Strife absorb? Jesse mangling about now. Got him in a, a rear chin lock. More of a headlock laying down, putting all his weight onto the shoulder and head area of Strife. Strife reaching. He's gonna have to dig deep down inside. But, you know, there's a reason Strife is the champion. There's a reason he's one of the one of the preeminent guys in RCW. He has a reservoir of strength. He's building it now. Referee going for a three count. If that, farm, our farm, if that arm falls for the third time. Sorry, fans getting excited. Whoa, no, Strife is battling back. He is not out of this. Oh, look at him punching the mat, getting himself psyched up, trying to push Jess up. That's a lot of weight to push up. Oh, two elbows. Kick, another kick. Oh, goes for that head kick. Tremendous clothesline by Big Jess. Once again, Strife is not, well, he's not striking and getting out, which is probably the key to his victory here. If he's going to win, he's going to have to take, he's going to have to deliver strikes and get out. Deliver strikes and get out. Standing toe to toe, I'm afraid Jess's weight just too much. Oh, two count there. Although, you know, you got to wonder how much more Strife has in him. He has been absorbing an, uh, an extreme amount of punishment. The weight and power advantage of Jess is just too much. Look at him going into a camel clutch, wrenching once again on the arm and shoulders. St 
Rafe has really got to get out. He's got to move around. He's got to use his his talent. He's got to use his kicking and his striking ability, but he's not been able to do so. Jess has grounded him virtually most of this match. And look at this, Strife trying to power up, but how much power has this young man got left in him? Oh, Jess just slamming down on the back of, riding poor Strife like he was a government mule. This is terrible, terrible. The champion is in real danger here. Once again, Jess goes back for his version of the camel clutch. Strife has got to, Strife is just yelling in pain right now, but it's hard to hear over Jesse yelling and, and trying to taunt him. See Jesse just, just trying to get into Strife, trying to get into his head, trying to make him not want to continue this match. And these power moves are doing such a thing. Oh, he goes for that move again and Strife brings his knees up. I gotta tell you, that would be an illegal move in some situations, but Jesse is the one who brought it down on himself, so the referee has let it go. Look at Strife pounding the mat. He is psyching himself up. This is what he needs to do, get in and strike. Yes, a tremendous stiff kick to the chest. Followed by another one. Twice Jesse goes down. Oh, goes for the head kick, reverses back, catches him in the face. Jess is definitely on Wobbly Street, and this is what Strife needs to do. Strike in, get out, strike in, get, here he goes, comes off the ropes. Beautiful, powerful mule kick sends Jess flying into the ropes. Looks like he has got Jess down. This is the first big opportunity Strife has had to win this match. He's pulling big Jess out of the corner. But man, that is a lot of weight to pull out. And you've got to think by the time he gets him out here, Jess is going to have recovered somewhat. Strife trying to lay on him, pulls him out of the corner and goes for that pin. Oh, big Jess Youngblood with the arm up. It is not over, folks. This match still has some life in it. Same as Jess Youngblood. Strife's looking around, asking the crowd what he should do. Don't ask the crowd, Strife. You know what to do. Kick and do what made you the champion. Jesse going for a oh a power slam oh my goodness this must be it Strife I I think is going to lose the belt right here now it's a count two whoa 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 Strife with a kick out I'm just as surprised as Jess Youngblood wow what has Jess got to do he's gonna have to try some other moves maybe go for his infamous treaty driver the Bannock bomb failed. I he has got to be a little bit anguished. He's watching his, his chance at the Commonwealth title go up in smoke if he doesn't do anything. Yes, he's sampling for the Treaty Driver. Folks, this is a devastating variation of the Pile Driver, which Big Jess has won many, many matches with. Strife had better do something or he is going to lose his belt here. Strife kicking. He is not going to go easy into that night. Bounces off the ropes. Oh, a bit of a slip. He went for a move. He slipped up. But he's still trying to recover. Oh my goodness, he's picking up 300 pounds of chip. Oh, and I go to sleep. My goodness, that is the... Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Strife powering Big Jess Youngblood into a go to sleep. Kicks him in the face. Well, knees him in the face. That's 320 pounds that Strife has hoisted on his shoulders. Knee him into submission and walks away your Commonwealth champion. Folks, this main event doesn't get any better than this. Tune in to more RCW action here on Indie Spotlight Wrestling. Don't forget to check out Gutbuster TV all the time on Twitter, on Facebook. Look for From the Second Row. Check out our podcast and even a special hello to the Edmonton Sports Podcast Network. Friends of ours who I even appear on some of their shows. Check us out and don't forget to check out all the action of RCW champions, including Strife, the Commonwealth champion. See you next week, folks.